In the Phaeton Continent, the second another story take name of the last melody of a requiem. In order to unlock it, first you need to complete all the storyline of the Phaeton Continent. This will unlock several new quests you can do. The first you need is found in the Kalaya area, to be precise, in its central left side inside the old cathedral. In its central left area you will notice several quests, and the one you need to take is uh, from Kaldor, called Dos Buried in the Dark Ground. Once you have it, the first step is to speak with the Levi you will find slightly to the bottom right. The next step is to reach the Red Moonshade area. To be precise, in the central right side of the map you have to use the Land of Despair Treeport. From where then, after speaking with Raoul above the treeport, you have to proceed in the Cave of the Sin dungeon you will notice slightly to the bottom right. You will need to complete the dungeon and defeat the last boss in order to update the objective of the quest. That will send you back to the Kalaya area inside the old cathedral to speak again with the starting quest on PC. Once you did so, you will complete it. Thanks to the first quest, you will like several other you need to do as well. The next one is still in the old cathedral inside the Kalaya area, where you need to speak again with Kaldor from whom you need to take the chain quest called Den of Buria the Sins. For its first objective you will need to speak with the Tyrius that is located slightly to the right from the Kaldor. Then you need to reach the Red Moonshade area. In its central left side you will notice uh, the quest areas inside the forgotten ruins you need to reach. Once there you will have to defeat 15 Delanes uh, you will find in this location. For the next step, you need to reach the central uh, bottom treeport called the Pars Hill. Slightly to the right from the treeport location, you will find the NPC you have to speak to called Ludwig. At the end of the conversation, your objective will be updated. Now you have to go back to the Kalaya area and reach again the old cathedral located in the central left of the map. By speaking with the Tyrius NPC here, you will be able to complete the quest. Now, in the old cathedral, inside the Kalaya area, you will find the second quest of the chain. In fact, by speaking with the Tyrius, you will be able to accept it and is called Call the Tears. For its first objective, you have to reach the bottom left dead end of the old cathedral, where on the left side from an old librarian, you have to interact with some books on the ground. Once you did so, you will receive a note to read and after you will close it, you have to interact with the bookshelf on the left. Interacting with this one, you will receive the second note and after closing it, you have to interact also with the right bookshelf. Once you read and close that third note, you have to go back to the starting point of the quest inside the left area of the old cathedral. But this time, to conclude the quest, instead of speaking with Tyrius, you have to speak with Kaldor. Still in the old cathedral located in the central left side of the Kalaya area, you have to accept the third and the last quest of the chain called When That Is Near. This quest can be started from Kaldor. Once you have it, you have to visit the Red Moonshade area. Start from its central right treeport called Land of Despair. Slightly to the right from it, in front of a staircase icon, you will notice a storyline dungeon. Once you access it, the first part is quite straightforward, you just need to defeat 10 enemies in the small passage. Then you will be teleported in another location, where you have to remove the blood from the ground. Now you have to go back to the Kalai area and reach the old cathedral location where you took the quest. By speaking with Kaldor, you will complete this chain. For the fifth required quest, you need to reach the Nameless Valley area. Here you have to start from the central bottom treeport called Jargal Port. From the treeport you have to reach the top right crossroad in the top right corner of the dark spot, where you will notice a side quest you can take called Market Investigation. By speaking with the merchant from Vern you will find here, you will be able to accept the quest. In order to complete it, you will need to use the passage slightly to the top left, where near the two blue arrows you will find the three quest areas. In all three locations, you will need to speak with the Delane residents. 
Once done, you will need to reach the shady shelter you will notice slightly on the left side from the blue arrows. In the bottom right side of this area you will notice the quest icon, where you will be able to speak with the merchant from Vern again and complete this quest. For the next step you have to go to the Kalaya area. Start from his top right report called the Black Falcon Inn. In the building to the bottom left from it, between the food merchants, you will find another quest called the Wither the Future. Reach this location and by speaking with the retired agent Kale, you will be able to accept it. For its objective, you will need to reach the staircase slightly to the top right from the building. Once there, enter the quest area and then going downstairs, access the underground location. Down here, you have to proceed to the bottom left. After entering the highlighted area, you have to use the jump interaction in order to reach the next location. Immediately after, slightly to the left, you need to pass through the highlighted gate. Inside the building you will access this way, you have to reach the end of the corridor and use any of the two passages going downstairs. In fact, both will lead you toward a huge opened area with a brazier in the middle. With a Letia NPC, slightly on the left you have to speak to next. This will allow you to complete the quest and unlock the rapport with this NPC. For the next step, you have to go back to the Kalaya area. To be precise, start from the top right side, near the Black Falcon in report. Slightly to the left from the report location, inside the building you will notice a chain quest. Get there and by speaking with Kinsera you will be able to accept the quest. Once you have it, interact with the green uh, sphere you will find in the first table to the bottom left. Next, speak with her and in the first choice select green crystal. For the rest of the conversation select the first options. At the end of it you will be sent to visit the nameless valley area. You have to reach the central right area between the Black Tree Forest Report and the Kalaya Portal. In the highlighted locations, you will find several destroyed statues you have to interact with. Once you did this action five times, you will be sent back to the Kalaya area, where, slightly to the left side from the top right report, you will find again the quest icon. This time, though, by speaking with King Ser, you will complete the quest. At this point, before the next step, you have to wait the daily reset of the server. But after the reset, inside the top right side of the Kalaya area, inside the Black Falcon Inn, you will notice another chain quest. In fact, here you will be able to speak with King Sarah again and take the second quest of the chain. For this one, interact with the table in front of the NPC and speak with her again. Choose the first options until the end of the conversation where you will be stunned. Now speak with her again and at the end of the conversation you will complete this quest. For the next step, inside the Kalaya area you have to visit the central left location called Old Cathedral, where after completing the first two quests of the previous chain you will find another quest chain. Once there, by speaking with the Lucas, you will be able to accept the first quest called Letters in the Jar. This one will send you to visit the Wailing Swamp area. To be precise, you will need to reach the bottom left report called the Lane Settlement, where you will find the quest objective in the next area to the top right. Once there, enter inside the highlighted area, then proceed slightly to the top left in order to speak with the Hafe NPC. At the end of the conversation, you will be sent slightly downside in order to interact with a jar. Interacting with it will give you a secret message and uh, you have to close it and repeat this action another two times and uh, receive the other two messages as well. This action will complete the quest objective and proceeding slightly to the bottom right, you will be able to speak with the Shayla and uh, complete the quest. For the next step, you have to continue exploring the central left area near the Delane Settlement report. In the same location where you finished the previous quest, you will need to take another one called the Bloody Tears from Thorns. To do so, speak with Shala and when you have to choose, select always the first option until you will be able to accept the quest. In order to complete its objective, in the left area of the Wailing Swamp you will need to reach the Avesa camp located in the bottom right corner. 
Here, in front of a tent, you will find the NPC called the Kelly you need to speak to. At the end of the conversation, the objective will be updated. Now, in the passage behind the NPC, you will be able to find three food boxes you can interact with. Pick up one of them and you will need to bring it all the way to the opposite side of the map borders inside the Delane settlement. It can take a while, but once you reach your destination, place down the box in the highlighted area in front of the Kylon NPC. Then speak with him in order to complete this quest. The next step can be completed still in the Wailing Swamp area. In the exact location where you finished the previous quest, you will find another one. In fact, by speaking with Kylon, you will be able to accept the third quest of the chain called a Withered Bouquet. For its objective, you will need to reach one of the two locations slightly to the right inside the Delane settlement, where you will find some fenced areas you have to interact with. Doing so will complete the objective. Immediately after, you have to proceed all the way down in the village, where you will need to speak with Shell. At the end of the conversation, you will receive a quest item you have to use using the F5 button. This action will update the objective and will allow you to speak with Shella again. Once you're done speaking with her, you will be sent in the opposite corner of the map inside the carnivorous plant colony. Once reached one of the highlighted areas, you have to stay there until the bar will be loaded. Next, you will need to forage five large flowers. To do so, interact with them, then use the blue arrows in order to reach the other groups. Once done, you will need to go back to the Delane settlement in the central left side of the map, where in the bottom right side of the settlement you will notice the quest icon now. Here, you will need to speak with Shella in order to complete the quest. The next step can be done still in the Wailing Swamp area in the bottom right side of the Delane settlement, where by speaking with Shella you will be able to accept the last quest of the chain called the Lonely Knight. Its objective will require from you to reach the Kalaya area. To be precise, its bottom right corner inside the Hardship Hill location. Here you will need to interact with one of the items inside the training grounds. Then you will need to reach the old cathedral location in the central left side of the map, where you will need to speak with Tyrius in order to update the quest objective. Immediately after, use the Black Falcon entry port in the top right side of the map, and reach the quest location above some vendors in the building slightly to the left from the tree port. Once there, you will need to speak with the Inkeep Margot in order to update the quest. Immediately after, you need to reach again the Hardship Hill area in the bottom right side of the map, where you will need to interact again with the training ground highlighted area. After the quest objective will be updated, you will need to reach the Welling Swamp area. To be precise, you have to get inside the Lane settlement located in the central left side of the map. Above the tree with the blue aura, you will find the NPC called the Levy you have to speak to next. At the end of this conversation, you will be sent in the bottom right corner of the same area in order to speak with Shella. This action will give you a quest item that now you need to use. Doing so will give you a long letter and update your objective. This last one will send you back to the Kalaya area. To be precise, you will need to reach the old cathedral in the central left side of the map, where, by speaking with the Levy, you will be able to complete the quest. Moving on, it's time to reach the Black Falcon entry port in the top right side of the Kalaya area. Inside the left building, between the vendors, you will find another quest chain called Phaeton Wild Cake. Once here, speak with the retired Agent Kyle in order to accept the quest. Once done, its first objective will require you to reach the crossroad between the Chain Valley and the Hardship Hill where, near a staircase, you will find the Levy NPC you have to speak to in order to complete the first objective. For the next step, you have to go back to the Black Falcon Inn, and this time, inside it, you have to speak with the Innkeeper Margot. At the end of the conversation, you will receive a quest item you will need to use using the F5 button. Once done, you will receive a message that after you will close, will appear a highlighted area in front of the Innkeeper Margot, 
Inside it, you will need to execute the deny emote. Immediately after, you will be sent to visit the Nameless Valley area. The first and the last objective of the quest can be completed in the bottom right side of the map. Defeating the enemies in this location, you will collect some uh, smoldering oil that is the last objective. Also here, you will find some huge white eggs and you will need to collect two of them in order to complete the first objective. While for the second objective, you will need to reach the Targus nest area in the bottom left side of the same map. This area is infested by some spiders of different colors. Defeating them will complete the second objective. Once done, you will be sent back to the Kalaya area. To be precise, you will need to visit again the Black Falcon Inn in the top right side of the map, where you will need to speak with the innkeeper Margot in order to update the objective. Then, inside the highlighted area, you have to wait for 10 seconds. This will result in spawning a cake in the bottom right side of the table. Now pick it up and bring it to the crossroad between the Chain Valley and the Hardship Hill, where you will need to place it down inside the highlighted area in front of the Levy NPC. As a result, this will update the objective, allowing you to speak with the Levy. At the end of the conversation, you will need to interact with the ground in order to eat the cake, then speak with Levy again. Finally, you will be able to complete this quest by reaching the Jargalport report in the bottom side of the Nameless Valley area. Where, slightly to the right side from the report location, you will notice the quest icon. Here, in front of red banner, you will find a crew NPC that will allow you to complete the quest by speaking with him. At this point, you have to wait one daily reset. Then visit again the Kalaya area. In fact, in the central left side of the map, you will find a new quest this way called The Boy's Shimmering Dream, where by speaking with Levi, you will be able to take the quest. For this one, you will need to visit the bottom central side of the Nameless Valley area, where the Jargal Port report can be found. In the right passage from the Triport area, you will need to enter inside the bottom first dead end, where by entering inside a highlighted area will reveal some Mokokos. Speak with the one called the Telaria in order to update the objective. Then interact with the small green crate uh, will appear behind this NPC. Next, you need to interact with the Levy. Immediately after, in the highlighted area, you will need to execute the Hearts Melody song. Then speak with Levi in order to update the quest objective. At this point, you will need to reach the Sacrian base located in the central left side of the same area, where, after using a staircase, you will need to speak with the Kaldor. Immediately after, speak also with the Jedericho that is located slightly to the top right. This action will send you back to the Kalaya area where you will need to access again the old cathedral located in the central left side of the map, where you will need to speak with the Kaldor. Once done, position yourself in the middle of the room in the highlighted area and wait for 10 seconds. Once done, you will need to enter inside another highlighted area slightly to the left and wait for 7 seconds here. After the timer will end, you will need to speak with the Golding that will appear slightly to the bottom right. Then, move in the new highlighted area and use the talk emote inside it. This will update the objective and this time you will need to speak with the Kaldor. At the end of the conversation, you will receive a quest item and you will need to use it inside the highlighted area in the central part of the room. Once done, you will be sent to the Black Falcon Inn located in the top right side of the map. Inside this building, you will need to speak with the retired Agent Kyle. At the end of this conversation, you will receive another quest item you will need to use. Immediately after, speak with Kyle again in order to complete the quest. Now you need to wait another daily reset. Then visit again the Kalaya area, where this time, inside the old cathedral in the central left side of the map, you will notice another chain quest. You can take it from Kaldor and the quest is called A Particular Kind of Adventurer. In order to complete it, you will need to visit the Nameless Valley area, where you have to reach the Sacrian base in the central left side of the map. 
where after a star case you will need to speak with the Jaderico. After the conversation you will be sent in the passage between the blue arrows on the left side from the Jargal port report, where you will need to interact with the Demetar NPC. After this conversation you will need to reach uh, the passage opposite to the Jergal port report, where in front of a wagoon you will find the Levy NPC you have to speak to. At the end of this conversation you have to proceed slightly to the top right and uh, speak with the castle ford. Then keep going to the right until you will find another NPC to speak to called Advisor Tamar. Then use the upper passage until you will reach the lab director Eula you have to speak to next. Immediately after, in front of Eula you have to speak with the Kaldor. While slightly below them you will find also Levi you have to interact with. Immediately after, keep going down until you will find Mehan that you will need to speak to. This will finally send you back to the Kalaya area, where you will need to reach the Alde Plaza report in the central left side of the map. Once there, the objective will be updated and you will be sent inside the old cathedral area slightly to the top left side from the report location. Here you will need to speak with the Calder in order to complete the last objective. Then, by interacting with the Levy that will appear in the central part of the room, uh, you will be able to complete this quest. At this point, if you completed all the quests mentioned previously, you have to reach the Kalaya area, where inside the old cathedral located in the central left side of the map, you will find a new quest called The Last Melody of a Requiem. By getting there, you will need to speak with Calder in order to start the quest. For its first objective, position yourself inside the highlighted area in the central part of this room where you will need to execute an emote called Oath. This will update the objective, allowing you to speak with the Goulding. After this conversation, you have to go straight to the top right and speak with the Tyrius. Immediately after, you will be sent toward the old Plaza report in the central left side of the map, where you will find the Levy NPC you have to speak to in order to complete this quest. Completing this exact quest will also complete the another story you came for.